Hello, Mon Marjo here again. In today's lesson, we're going to be exploring Montmartre air hardening modeling clay. And we're going to create this fun little piggy bank. So let's get into it. So for starters, what we'll need for our piggy is two blocks of Montmartre air hardening modeling clay. For manipulating our clay, these tools are just perfect. Montmartre have four kits to choose from, but for this project, we'll just be using the mini modeling tools and the pottery tool kit. Now I have chosen to paint my piggy pink. So I have some white and scarlet silver series acrylic to mix that hue. I've also got some burnt umber here for the mud, but you could paint your piggy any color you like. There's 26 colors to choose from in the silver series acrylic range. To apply my paint, I'm using a large Taclon brush and I'm using the Gallery Series brush set for that. The last step we'll be doing is applying a gloss finish to our piggy. And I'll be using the acrylic medium gloss for that. Now this step is optional, but I think it makes it look really nice. To begin, we need to make our piggy's body. So join these two slabs of clay together. And the best way to join two slabs of clay is like this. And make a ball. Squash it together and work it till it's round. Once you have your general shape, just dip your hands in a little bit of water and then smooth it off. Next, we need to cut our ball in half. But why would you do that? To hollow out the insides. Oh. Use the wire clay cutter for this. Work the wire back and forth and voila. Then hollow it out with the large ribbon tool. Support the back of the ball so the shape is not lost. Then do the same with the other side. When you've hollowed out the balls, just simply rejoin them like this. Make sure the edges align with each other. Don't worry if it's not too round, we'll fix that later. Lay on a little water and then lay a flat strip over the join to hide the line. And then blend a strip into the ball. Do this round the whole thing. Keep working it till it's nice and smooth. Now to make it extra smooth, dip your hand in the water and rub it around. This gives it a glassy smooth finish. You now have a smooth hollow ball. So let's put this aside and create the rest of our piggy's features. To do that, I have created seven equal sized balls, roughly that size, and then three small balls about a quarter of the size. Let's make our little piggy friend's legs first. And these are quite simply a cone shape. So make four of them. You don't have to be too precise with these. You can refine them when you attach them to the body. Nice pins, Piggy. Next, our Piggy's ears, and they're just two equilateral triangles. Flatten out a ball and use the cutter to create nice sharp edges. Now the second ear. Smooth the cuts and there you have two lovely ears. Next for our piggy snout. And this is quite simply just a cylinder squashed flat. Roll the cylinder into an oval shape and compact it between your thumb and finger. A little pinch here and there and that's a snout. For the tail, roll out a thin sausage. Don't look so worried, Piggy. A clay sausage, not a pork sausage. And these are his eyes. Now let's assemble our Piggy and we'll start with the ears. Lay him down there like that. Grab the two ears and stick them on. Use the tool to smooth it in. And the other one. Then stick on the snout. Use a little water to act as a glue. Jiggle it round to make it stick. 
Now we can attach our legs. Again, use a little water for the join. Apply a bit of pressure to get a good bond. Then smooth the legs onto the body. Next, let's put our friend's curly whirly tail on. So grab your little strand of clay and stick it onto Piggy and twirl it round. Poke in a couple of holes for his nostrils. Once you've done that, you can stick on his two boggly eyes. The last step in construction is to cut out the coin slot. And to do this, we'll be using the fettling knife. Now, as the name implies, it is a knife and it is quite sharp. So make sure you have some adult supervision on this step. After you have cut the coin slot, smooth the edges with a modeling tool. So leave that to dry and we'll come back and paint it later. Our piggy is now dry, so we can paint it. So I'm going to create a pink from four parts white to one part scarlet. Mix it up and slap it on. Cover piggy all over. Well, the pink is dry on my pig, so I can apply my mud spots. And I'm using burnt humber. You need gum boots, piggy. Just apply it around the feet and little spots here and there. Lastly, let's apply a gloss finish. And we'll do that with the acrylic gloss medium. Our piggy bank is now ready for money. And as you can see, I've made a couple of little friends for him to play with. So, piggy banks don't just have to be made out of piggies. What about an elephant or a beetle bank? It's up to you. Until next time, keep on creating art.